We're going to discuss how gravity helps our posture. I'm an Alexander Technique teacher, we're kind of known for posture, and I'm personally a bit obsessed with the nature of gravity and how it helps to support us, like we use it like a fish uses water, is one of the analogies I like to give. Now, this isn't the first time I've done a video on this or a vlog on this, uh, you know, so uh, I have a bit of a bit of history of going over this subject, so why am I doing it again? The reason is because is I found a practical way of highlighting this, and uh, it's to actually use a mobile phone. Because <laughs> interestingly, mobile phones have accelerometers in them, which measures effectively which way it's up, which is why if I quickly turn the phone on, is why it can go from landscape to portrait. Actually, that was portrait to landscape, but <laughs> and back again. It uses an internal accelerometer it effectively measures gravity, the effects of gravity, um, so it knows which way's up. Um, it can only do that if it's in contact with something, which in this case is my hand, because I'm holding it. So accelerometers cannot actually measure gravity if it's in free fall, because it's effectively, when something's in grief, free fall, there's nothing acting on it. It feels the pressure of something pushing into it to displace it, an accelerating body pushing into it to, uh, to measure it. Um, just to, get, to show you, I don't know how well this will show, we'll try it. But I, I have mimicked this, you know, being in free fall for myself. I, I tried throwing it up in the air and stuff, but it, it's, it's too chaotic. If I come all the way back here, you can still hit me. I don't know if you can even see this, but if I hold it up, it flips and flips, and flips, and flips. Make sure it stays on. Now, if I flip it and then bring it down as if it's in free fall, turn, flip. No, fly knee flip. It waited, because it, it wasn't pure free fall the way I'm doing it, but it's enough to upset the internal accelerometers to not quite get the reading it needs to flip. So, it's, Upright, I turn it, go down, and now it's at the bottom, it's finally flipped. You can see, try it yourself, give it a go. You can see it's, uh, it may not show up brilliant on camera, but try it with your own phone. And you can see how the act of bringing it down as if it's in free fall, pauses how long it takes for it to flip until it reaches the bottom. Because once it reaches the bottom, the acceleration coming up underneath it increases again because you've stopped the acceleration is upwards from your hand from the floor because that's the point gravity doesn't pull you down not in the way you think it does in fact it's, it's all quite incredibly complicated time dilation and all sorts of strange things in physics and general relativity but the thing is we can prove the effects with meters that we have in our hands we can see that it does flip and if i take some of the acceleration out of it that's going up into it to tell it which way is up it gets confused, it can't do it. Now, better still, I downloaded an accelerometer app. Try this for yourself as well. Just go on to whether you've got Apple or Google, I'm Android, Google, so I downloaded this from the Google Store, an accelerometer app. Now, what it's got is three graphs, uh, and that's because there are three accelerometers in different directions, each axis, so three dimensions. I'm gonna take two of them out, so we only have the Y accelerometer. The Y isn't the Y axis on the uh, screen, it's the actual one, the, the direction of the accelerometer inside. So it's the one that's measuring upwards acceleration. So that's it reading upwards acceleration. Because I've been moving around, it's, it, it's gonna go down a minute. Ideally, if I could stay still enough that would read 9.8 meters per second squared. It's settling about 10.1, but it is very sensitive. I'm a bit wobbly moving it around. It does adjust to that. Maybe if I, I don't know if you can see that, <laughs> if I put it on a flat surface there, if I wait long enough, will that go down to 10 to 9.8? Let's have a look. 10, 9.9. .9. It's 9.8. It's not. <laughs> I don't know how accurate these things are. I uh, don't know if you could actually read that from there. You might have to take my word for it. But you can try it out yourself. So that's measuring upwards acceleration. You know, it 
it's resting there and yet it's measuring acceleration. Yet when you throw it in the air, an accelerometer can't measure anything because what it measures is something pushing into it. And it's not, push, it's not sensing itself pushing down into something, it's measuring the ground coming up into it. Yeah? That is what general relativity tells us. That as counterintuitive as it is, that we have a force of the Earth pushing back against us owing to the fact that it's resisting in a way with electro electrostatic forces, the fact that um, space-time is bent and yet there's curvature, like, you know, with a black hole, but without it being so black. <laughs> but you get this curvature of space-time that, that things fall towards. Um, and you basically slide, slide down a gravity wave. You can't travel in a straight line, but in a curved space. So a bit like if you're on a, got a ball and you draw a line, you'd say that's a straight line as you go from top of the ball to the bottom as you draw it. But obviously from the other side, you can see it's a curve. And, you know, we effectively travel down a straight line in a curved surface. We're going from a, a higher gradient to a lower gradient because that's what gradients do, you know, you, go, you can actually go from higher to lower. But to counteract that, the Earth pushes back the opposite way, called the ground reaction force. And it's an upward thrust that we feel. Now, if you're really confused by this, you can uh, go on YouTube. If you look up, um, is gravity a force? There's loads of great uh, physics channels describing this. My, my favorite um, analogy is the rocket ship analogy, which if you were in, up, up out in space, um, you know, in, ze in actual zero gravity, um, and then the ship started accelerating at 9.8 meters per second squared, you could stand in the direction of the thrusters and it would feel exactly like this. Exactly. You would not be able to tell the difference. Um, and with these accelerometers in our phones, we, you know, we can see, we can measure it. So that's what we do with our, with our posture. We, we deal, we surf an up thrust and then it supports us. And, you know, we're incredibly mobile. We decided not to be stable uh, in our evolution. Decided, I use the word loosely there. <laughs> you want to be stable, be a tortoise. Uh, but we've gone for mobility. Because we're so mobile, um, it's very difficult to get an exact line of support going through the structure. Uh, so it's best, best not to try. Don't have an idea of a fixed posture. We naturally are quite wobbly, and it's okay. You know, if you look at toddlers first standing up, they're quite wobbly. Well, we just refine that. We don't get rid of it. Um, so, yeah, we just um, surf this up thrust. Um, and because of the nature of where our skull meets our spine, which is ever so slightly to the rear, uh, as the up thrust comes up into the base of the skull through the spine, obviously it tips the head, it pushes the head up as a force, but it also tips it forward because the um, joint is slightly to the rear. And that's Alexander's forward and up. It's a classic Alexander phrase, let the neck be free to let the head go forward and up. The word, the most important word there being let, because, you know, it's a, it's a product of our environment. We are a product of our environment. We're using gravity. Like fish uses the water, we've evolved to take advantage of it. And, you know, when we get, get that head forward and up, as we say in the Alexander technique, it creates a nice length and, you know, we're coordinated to use that. And it's not to say you're always like this. You can look around and do other stuff. But there's a general direction and it's kind of like a neutral gear when just stand, standing around. This is just the easiest thing to do. Just let your head go forward and up. So, there it is. Another video on gravity, but download the app, an accelerometer app on your phone. Have a play with it and see what you think. All right, take care. Bye.